talking about the next <coughs> steps for the market from here on as you're looking forward to August, September. Uh, what really is on the horizon? What are the next uh, events or triggers to keep in mind? I think for India, if we don't see the rupee stabilize, and I, I, I think it'll go to 62, and I think that's what's going to happen. Um, and then we'll see what the policy um, reaction to that is. I'm not liking the policy reaction so far. I don't think markets do, and I think that's what we've seen in, in, in the recent past. I don't think India Inc. is supportive of some of this. Mm -hmm. um, so therefore, the, the economy continues to go down. But having said that, you, you've made <coughs> the point that you do expect uh, rates, I mean, the actual rates, the repo rate, uh, to start moving down, perhaps in the second half of this financial year, irrespective of what they've done right now. Is that I, right? I think with a new governor, you might find a different stance. Um, and, and that's what I'm, I'm thinking about more than anything. But, uh, you know, you can defend your currency, you can defend your currency, but if your economy is going down, you're still causing the same problem because your GDP will, will start to fall, uh, the rating agencies will come in and downgrade you. Mm, right. Uh, what about earnings? A lot of people <coughs> were of the hope that this is pretty much the bottom of the barrel and earnings start getting better from here on, and therefore uh, uh, the, you know, the optimism on the market. Uh, do you subscribe to that view at all now? Uh, no, unfortunately, you know, we started off at 15%, mm. we then went to a range of 10 to 15%, and now we're at 10%, and then am probably going to go to 5 to 10%. Really, you think it could actually go down to about 5%? Yeah. yeah. Uh, over <coughs> how many months or how many quarters are we talking about this? This might happen. Well, this is for this fiscal year, so I've gone okay. from starting at, you know, 15%, mm -hmm. and I'll probably get down to 5 to 10%, mm -hmm. uh, because the earnings I've seen don't convince me, and particularly with what's been happening in, in the last two months will be reflected going forward. And I think we're not seeing, you know, we certainly won't see it in last quarter's figures. Mm -hmm. We'll start to see it now. So then, to, in order to adjust to this uh, new reality, uh, aren't we talking about a big market correction? So I said, you know, the, the market, the, so we take the nifty. Mm -hmm. um, without outside problems, I mean problems in the world, um, I think 5,500, 5,455 is probably a valuation I'm okay with. Um, but anything outside, it could get down to 5,200. But if I target the index, um, I'm doing the wrong thing at the moment. I've got to be very, very specific in which sectors, which companies, uh, and which ones to avoid. Mm -hmm. Because if I say I like the banking sector, but I bought PSU banks, I would be, I'd, I'd be nursing a lot of losses at the moment. Um, okay. Because a few weeks ago, it's easy to say, not maybe three, four weeks ago, that interest rates were... On the, on the way down, and therefore you should be in the banking sector. And I said at the time, you know, I'm happy to rent the stocks as they yeah. move up, but not own them. Um, if you were owning them, now you're you're sitting on huge losses. So right. I think it's what what to avoid uh, mm -hmm. in this market, not what to uh, which target of of the market. Because I said, you know, there's going to be stocks which hold the index up artificially. 